that we certainly did better than last time there um i'm now on the way home but i've detoured to another place there's a few charity shops so um we'll have to take a look at them see if we can add to the haul
usually add silly food. Our German choir is Chase Cowboy. So every normal every choir that I call for our body body. I'm all for the surgeon. We can find German choir is Chase Cowboy. I'm all for the surgeon. I remember that.
Right, okay, so what a difference a week makes. Video, was it last week, 10 days ago, went to the same place, didn't get anything, didn't get anything at all. This time, I got loads, loads of stuff. 
I'm not sure how um, the going around with the GoPro will work. Please give me some feedback on that. Should I make it shorter? Should I make it longer? More detailed? I don't know. Drop me a comment, um, see what we think, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, I've had a bit of a trim today. Beard trim, haircut. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what we got. Quite a variety of stuff. A lot of it's clothing, obviously. Um, it seems most of the time it's all I get at the moment at, at some charity shops. But still, can't complain. Um, you may have seen this on the video. This is uh, an Umbro uh, like laptop shoulder bag, but it's got this Derby County um, badge on it. I've um, Googled it. I can't find anything um, the same. Um, the only one I can find that's similar on eBay is, a, is an Umbro one, um, but it's England, not Derby County. I mean, it's new with tags, this one. I'm going to stick it on for $24.95. And we're going to see what happens. I don't see why not. I've paid £6 for that. Still a nice bag. I'm sure the Derby County fan would love it. Um, I also found this Aston Villa shirt. This is the 2016-17 um, shirt. Uh, there is a bit of peeling on the, on, the, on, the, on the lion badge on the back and also the size badge. Happens quite often with Under Armour stuff. I'll, I'll peel that off so it's all gone uh, anyway. It's a medium. It's in good condition other than that. It's uh, it's genuine. I've got no concerns about that. That one was £3, which is good for a football shirt, I've got to say, in the charity shop. If it was in really, really good condition, I'd probably get 25 But because of the badge uh, wear there and on the back of the neck, I'd probably shoot for about 17 on that. So not that bad found this um, plush. He's a Secret Lights Life of Pets 2 and he's the Basset Hound puppy. Um, the, the really old Basset Hound. I don't know if you've seen the film, but the really old Basset Hound looks after puppies and this is one of them puppies. Um, he was £2. Not going to get a huge amount for him. Maybe 6 95 So, bit of a fail. Thought it'd be worth a bit more. But we'll get our money back. Um, got quite a bit of clothing, as I said, other than the, the football shirt. Um, this, in line with all the stuff I've been picking up at Kilo events recently, is an official NFL t-shirt. That was £1.50. I put that on for a tenner. This was in the kids' section, but it is not for kids. This is a Quicksilver rash vest. It goes under a wetsuit for surfers. It was 99p. And it is a size 14, so it is for ladies. Um, looking at the thing here, all time, December 2016. So yeah, it's a 14, and it, I say it's a rash, rash vest. So I'll go for about 12.95, maybe more on that. We'll see. Couple of golf polos. Uh, nice pink one, red and black. Uh, that one's got a couple of bobbles on it, but I've got a de-bobbler, so I can get rid of those to obviously help with the, uh, the value. Nice big size, it's a large. And then the same shop, I believe, is this. Oh, hold on. What am I doing? I've lost myself. Well, oh, oh, goodness me, sorry about this. Yes, this one. Another pink. But this one's G15, which is one of their clubs a years ago. They were three pounds each. I'll go for about twelve ninety five. Same shop as well had this um, Nike golf um, compression thermal top. I thought it was Tiger Woods initially, but it's not. It's just um, it's just Nike. Um, that was what was it? That was three pounds as well. Probably go for about 15 on that one. Um, in no particular order this is, so it might appear on the video in a different order. Or I don't think I got it all because my Go GoPro battery died about halfway going around all the uh, all the shops. So apologies for that. We've got a Lacoste a Polo shirt. I paid up for that, paid a fiver. But I know that will sell easily, £14.95. Um, this is a Scotland... Training shirt, 
a bit of a mark on it there, isn't there? Or was that just light? It shows up as a really big mark this here in the in the on the camera. I can see it, but in actual fact, it's not. That's weird. Um, but I think it's football, not um, rugby. It's a 42.44, so what's that, a large? Paid £6 for it. I would estimate somewhere around 18 for that. Um, let me see what else is there. Uh, punt on this one, I haven't researched it yet. It's a polo and it's Michael Kors. Paid up for it at a fiver. I say I took a gamble because it's Michael Kors. I don't think I'll have trouble getting my money back. I don't know exactly what I'll get for it. We'll say 15, maybe more. But I oh know I'll get my money back, no problem. This, again, I need to do quite a bit of research on. This is like um, a, um, well, what are they called? You know, festival goers and that sort of trendy people. Um, I need to do research, see what it is. The reason I've got it, I mean, it was £6, so it's not, you know, the end of the world. It's not worth anything. But it's made in Nepal, so it's like proper, and it's really, really good quality. I don't know what how you'd, what you'd term it as, but um, I'll do my research and find out. But it is really, really nice. Just caught my eye, the colours, the purples and like the pink, and looked really nice. So we'll see what goes with that one. But a bit of, maybe a bit of a gamble. This is a Gant sports blazer. It's a big size, a 52. It's in very good condition. I checked it all over thoroughly before I bought it. Um, it was eight pounds and that will go for between 30 and 35. So not bad there. A couple of board games. This is Berserk, I think, uh, by War, War of the Realms. Um, paid 3.75. Unfortunately, that's not worth what I thought it was going to be worth because um, I didn't thoroughly check it. But I'm probably going to about a tenner for it, so not the best one really. But sometimes, you know, that happens. Rummy cub again, upside down this time. Rummy cub again, right way up this time. Three pounds. They sell all day long for between twelve to fifteen pounds, possibly more. This is a this is a more modern one, and um, so I might be able to up the price because of how modern it is. I will also be able to up the price because it's sealed. The bag's sealed. So we could go possibly 18, maybe more on that one. That is always a bonus. But I always pick Rimmy Cubs up. I've got a good load of spare tiles. They're a really, really good seller. What else have we got? Oh, another polo shirt here. Uh, this one's Fred Perry. Fred Perry's are all, all, always sell well. Double XL, four pounds. I may be able to push about 18 for that one. We'll see. And the last, oh no, there's another blooming bag here. Oh, man alive. We got so, I got so much stuff, I couldn't believe it. Picked up this and made a fail, but. This is a Birmingham City shirt in XL. It was originally $14.99, they reduced it to $9.99. It's brand new with tags, but it's got Andrew on the back, hasn't it? And he was 44. Now, unless that's one of their players, if it is, fine, I'll keep it on. I've got a sneaking suspicion it's not. So this will have to have the um, hair dryer and peel technique that I did on a previous video to take the shirt off because the chances of me finding a 44 year old Andrew are pretty slim. Anyway, with the shirts and stuff off, with the number and stuff off, brand new tags, 29.99 maybe. Yes, this was nice, is nice, because it's still a thing. Uh, it's an Aston Villa goalkeeper shirt. I'm not sure of the year, uh, it's XL got the padded arms etc uh paid five pounds for that again might be able to push about 25 for that one um weird fish fleece i always buy weird fish it's a good brand to take this was only four pounds I'll probably get about 15 for that Just found this brand new still in the bag jaguar racing t-shirt 
proper one. It was two pounds. May get fourteen ninety five. More more realistically, twelve ninety five for that. Um, I also found this CSI and I am a um, special edition DVD box set. It's seasons one to three. It was three pounds. Inside, it's like this um, suede covered um, box, and then you get the, uh, the DVDs all in this big um, like collector's edition thing. I googled it while I was in the shop, and I couldn't find it on eBay. Um, so because it was three pound, I mean, I found other ones that were the same sort of seasons one to six or, or seasons one and two, seasons one and three, and they were selling for, for pretty good money. So I took this one up because because of the quality, really, that with the box and the covers all nice and everything. So we'll see on that one. We'll see. Um, last thing. I don't think this was on the video because my battery are in my then. It's a couple of fishing rods. But these are like vintage fishing rods. They were five pounds each from Acorns. This one is by a company called Hardy's. Now, any fisherman or, or older fisherman who knows um, vintage fishing will have heard of Hardy's. This is a Hardy's Match Quest uh, fishing rod. It's in good condition. There's a little bit of wear on one end of one of the blanks, but it's not too bad. I googled this one, I've eBay, checked on eBay on this one, and these sell for around 40 to 50 pounds in that sort of condition, especially with the bag, so that's not too bad. And this one is by Webley and Scott. They're actually better known for making air rifles. Um, but anyway, that's another story. Um, this is a Webley Match Supreme. It has got some damage because this has got some insulation tape on it around this, this eye. But even so, from a fiver, I'll probably put it on for twenty nine ninety nine because it is overall it's pretty good. Other than that, that that eye that needs redoing, I may even see if my dad will do that for me because he's got loads of old fishing rods. So man, he might be able to do that properly because you have to use like cotton and then use a sealant around it like a glue to to to, to stick it all on and make it look professional. But we'll see. I also managed to pick up a rock band drum kit for £15, complete for Xbox 360 in a charity shop. That was fun carrying it because they're obviously the furthest shop away from a car. <sighs> so, all in all, spent quite a bit of money, but I got an awful, awful lot of stuff and the return will be really, really good. So, that's enough of me rambling on. <laughs> hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you like the um, GoPro footage say drop a comment below um i can always work on that my editing skills are pretty poor please recommend me editing stuff i'm wondering if i should maybe invest in a macbook pro to do my editing because i find iMovie really really good on my phone my ipad has not got enough um storage for that so possibly get a bigger ipad it would be an option but i think maybe the macbook because my laptop is useless anyway um, and it will have iMovie on, so I'll be able to do a lot better stuff with my films. Anyway, we'll see what goes with that. Obviously, I've got to sell some of this stuff to even imagine paying for a new laptop. So, that's it from me. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you very soon on the next one. Bye.